Okay, here we are. I think we are ready to do this. So I apologize. You knew that was going to happen. The bat guy is here right now. He's up on the roof. He hasn't quite finished. I was just out there talking with him about a few things. So I apologize. I know that I'm late getting started. So it's going to be a little weird. We're a little bit off timing wise, but that's how it's been lately too. So, and just to warn you, hey, Michelle, how are you doing? Um, he's going to be walking by at some point because he still doesn't come in to do like the walkthrough to like make sure um, that he's gotten everything. So at some point he'll be doing that. So, hey, Susie, how are you doing? I hope everybody's good today. So yeah, we've got lots to cover. Um, I am like feeling a little... Um, <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like I'm super winging it today compared to like other days when I'm just kind of sort of winging it. Um, I'm like, okay, I got to get focused because I've been so like, these bats, I tell you what, I don't know, I, you guys, probably most everybody has had a bat in their house at one point or another, but we've had three bats over the past couple of weeks and I cannot... I haven't even been able to sleep in the house. I'm literally sleeping on the, <laughs> on the couch in my ex-husband's house, which um, it's kind of funny because it's been kind of fun because I've had more time with my kids because usually they're like back and forth from here, but nobody wants to even sleep at my house, including myself. Uh, so yeah, but I'm ready to get back to like being able to live fully in my house. So they're putting this ridge guard or something on. That's what he's doing. He's been up on the roof, which is like a super steep, high pitched roof. Um, so I don't know, but he's up there just hanging out like it's no big deal. So hey, Teresa, how are you doing? Um, so yeah, so anyway, that's going on. And then I think it takes, they said like up to a week to make sure all the bats actually like fly out of like hopefully from upstairs and no more like down inside here. But I was like, I need you to just come walk through the house and just make sure you don't see anything because they know, you know, where they hide better than I do. And I just don't, <laughs> yuck, bats, 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 yucky, yucky, yucky. So, okay, so moving on from that. So I wanted to let you guys know too, hey Sherry, you got all these fun people watching today. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. It's like a beautiful one of the last Fridays of summer right um so let's see we have um just want to do a quick um kind of note to let you guys know next friday august 30th is lily's birthday she's going to be 15 years old next friday so we will not be doing a facebook live next friday because we've got some fun planned for her birthday um kind of a last hurrah they actually start school on monday which is pretty unusual this is the first time that at least our school, my kids' school, has started before Labor Day, and she's been so worried about, um, am I on the right, all of a sudden I'm like, am I on the right Facebook Live? No, I, can you guys tell me, am I on the Stamp Studio group? I'm about positive that I am. <laughs> I'm hoping. All of a sudden I'm like, different people are watching than usual, so now I'm like, maybe, did I get onto the Stamp Studio Facebook group? Huh, okay, well somebody type me a comment if you're still watching. I don't know if Teresa or Sherry or Susie, if you guys are watching, but let me know if I'm on. <laughs> All of a sudden I have this moment of like, I'm on like my Amy Ferlici page, but I don't think I am. So, all right, I'm gonna kinda keep talking. But um, anyway, so back to Lily's birthday next Friday. Okay, good, Susie's saying yes. All right, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm just having, I'm gonna have all these like blonde moments today. I can just feel it already. Cause I'm already, I'm just really like disconcerted. Like I really wanted that guy to be done with this stuff before we started this. And I knew it was gonna happen just like this. So, okay, whoo, anyway, it's all right. Um, okay, so yeah, no Facebook Live next Friday, Lily's birthday. Um, so we'll be back live on, I think that's gonna be September 6th um, is the next, whatever that next Friday is, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. Lily got lucky though. Um, she was all worried because we started school early and she's never been in school on her birthday and she just thinks that sounds like an awful, awful thing even though like more people than not are in school at some point on their birthdays, right? But she's never had that. Um, this is the first year for the potential of it but they have the Friday off of Labor Day weekend which is August 30th, which is her birthday. So <laughs> she skates through one more year. I think we figured out maybe her senior year, <laughs> she'll be in school on her birthday. So so anyway, we'll see. 
Uh, we won't worry about that because that's not for a few years. So, okay, um, let's see, quick reminders. I've been telling you guys, I wanna make sure everybody knows, make sure you use your bonus days coupons. Um, those are good just for a couple more days through August 31st. So if you haven't used them yet, hop online to stampinup.com, put your order in, use the host code I'm gonna give you, um, and then use your coupons so you can get your $5 um, off your order, right? It's an awesome incentive to get your order in. So yeah, I see lots of fun thumbs up. Thank you guys. Um, Okay, and then starter kit deal too. You have, what do we have, like a little over a week, again, through August 31st. If you haven't taken advantage of the deal and you've been thinking about it, do it now before it's too late. Like I said, you've got about a week left. You get to pick anything you want, $155 in product. If you've seen holiday catalog stuff that's caught your eye, you can get holiday catalog stuff in your starter kit. So of course, annual catalog stuff, holiday catalog stuff, whatever you want, pick $155. You can't go one penny over though, right? That's the only thing. So spend, pick $155, you spend only $99 plus sales tax. So in Michigan, it's $104.94. Hey, Lori, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Um, so yeah, it's an awesome deal. Plus, then you also get a $10 coupon off of an order that you can use in September. So it, it's kind of that incentive to first put your or put your first demonstrator order in, um, get your coupon, um, and then you can use it to order whatever you like. So very, very cool. Um, but basically, there's not much more time. So if you've been thinking about it, if you have any questions at all, let me know. On um, gatheringinspiration.com, there's a link that says Become an Inspired Stamper. Um, and what that does, it gives you a list of all the awesome benefits of joining my team, the Inspired Stampers. Um, and then there's also a link right there to get the starter kit. So super quick, simple, easy. If you have any problems, please let me know because I've done a million of these start, well, not truly a million, but I've done a bunch of starter kit orders. So I know how quick and easy it can be when I do it. Um, you just have to gather information um, and figure out what you want to order is the fun part, right? So um, so with that being said, I want to congratulate Miss Diana Boone because she is our latest Inkspired Stamper. She just took advantage of that awesome starter kit deal and so now she's an expired stamper yay welcome miss diana and congratulations we're so excited to have you as a part of our expired stampers group um, and we'd love to welcome others so like i said if you have any questions wondering anything about it at all just let me know i'm here to answer um, and i've got lots of other people that have bought the starter kit through me that you know so it's not just me saying how awesome it is but you can talk to any of those you know i can refer you to any of the people in our group too if you've got questions that you want to ask them um, instead of me, you know, because, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I think you can trust me. I hope you can trust me. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, okay, so we are going to jump right in. We've got our first drawing. I've got lots of names in my little paper pumpkin bag. So today we are drawing for the noble peacock rhinestones, the beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love, I want like many packs of these because it's amazing how quickly you can use all those pretty colors. So what do we have? We've got um, kind of small, mainly smalls, a few mediums and a few larges. You can see like I would say that's medium and that's large and then all of those are smalls and all those pretty colors. So, okay, your name went in the drawing here. One entry for commenting on Facebook Live. Three entries if you shared the video or if you tagged a friend. Um, what else? Let's see. Um, three entries if you're new to me and you just signed up for the start, or not the starter kit. <laughs> I should do that too. If you sign up for my email list. And then the random draw day was Tuesday. So any post that I made or that you made yourself got you another three entries into the drawing here. So, okay, let's shake all these names around. I know, Michelle, I love them too. They are beautiful, fun, sparkly gorgeous and just such pretty colors. I couldn't, I think I, yeah, I used them on one of my projects today that we're gonna do, um, that I'm gonna demonstrate. I couldn't decide which color I wanted to use because they're all so pretty. Okay, we've got a bunch of them all. Okay, here we go. And I'm so sorry for being late. I know I've got less people kind of popping on here. Um, hopefully you guys can find me soon, soon, soon. Okay, so Miss Linda Danis, if you can see, yeah, that actually shows up really well. No glare today. It's funny, the sun must be in a different place these days. Um, I haven't had to move the table like I have in a while, but now I've completely jinxed myself. It's probably more of a winter thing 
with the sun being low. So I'll probably have to do that starting soon, right? So anyway, okay, so Ms. Linda Danis, you are the winner of the Noble Peacock Rhinestones. So I will get those sent out to you. Congratulations. Okay, and let's see, I'm gonna dump those out because we've gotta do another drawing. We'll do that in just a sec. I wanna tell you guys what we are giving away. Um, this week, these are so, well, it'll be on the next Facebook Live. I'm about positive that's September 7th. But these are the little Dino Roar enamel shapes. So we've got those fun little triangular shapes, some fun leaves in Old Olive. And then those are the, what blue is that? Isn't that funny? Um, well, probably Pretty Peacock. It's kind of a bluey green. And there are some other leaves. You can't see them up in there. But here I'll show you. This is a fun little card that we made at class last week. So there are a couple of those little Dino Roar enamel shapes on that little part right there. So that is what we'll be giving away on the next Facebook Live. So as always, if you haven't watched Facebook Live before, comments. Get your name in the drawing, shares and tags of friends. Get your name in the drawing, signing up for my email list, and then um, posting. If you uh, share a picture of a project that you've made, I pick that, ra I call it random draw day, so I have a little, um, little um, pieces of paper with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I shuffle them all up, pull one out, and whatever day that I draw, if you commented or shared or posted yourself, then you get entries into the drawing too. So hey, Julie, how are you guys doing? Okay, good. I feel like a few people are popping on. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep apologizing for being late. I was just really kind of annoyed. They were supposed to come at like one or two o'clock today. And then while I was at my workout class, I got a message saying, hey, things change. We have to be here at your house at like nine o'clock. And I was like, oh boy, I just knew it was gonna go over. So I'm trying not to be irritated, but I am. <laughs> That's how that goes, right? Okay, so um, let's see, let's do, so actually thank you guys so much. So my plea, <laughs> because I have to write that big fat check today to the bat people now. So I so appreciate your orders. They are helping me pay my big fat check to the bat guys. So thank you so much for your online orders. Any um, additional orders that you would like to put in would be so greatly appreciated because obviously the income that I make on those orders helps me pay for the bat remediation in this house. Get them out of here, yuck. Um, okay, so anyway, yes, your name is in here if you put an online order in of at least $30 last week and use the host code. So thank you guys, thank you so much. I literally wanna give this prize to every single one of you. I wish I could. You're all gonna get the free embellishment because I think everybody's order is actually over $50. So just so you know that too, okay? But yeah, what are we gonna give away? These are, this is that Bright's 6x6 Designer Series Paper Pack. Isn't that pretty? I have not used, oh my gosh. Granny Apple Green, I need to do something with that color. That was one of our new colors last year and I used it all the time last year and I haven't used it in a while. So, okay, here we go. Let's see, shaking the names around and let's see, I've got one in my hand. Miss Sandra, Sandra Johnson is the winner of the uh, 6x6 Brights Designer Series Paperback. So congratulations, Miss Sandra. I will get that sent out to you along with your free embellishment. And you guys all, all, all of you get the projects that I demonstrated on Facebook Live last week too. So I'll get those sent out to you guys. Um, okay, let me check my notes real quick because I want to make sure. Yep. Okay, so this week, Sandra, I just drew your name. I think, I don't know if um, you saw that or not, but I just drew your name. Sandra, you won the Bright 6x6 six six Designer Series paperback. So perfect timing. I'm glad you popped on so you could see that. So awesome, awesome. Okay, so this uh, Facebook Live, the next one that we do on September 6th, we are going to draw for the scripty 3D embossing folder. <laughs> you are welcome, Miss Sandra. It is very exciting, isn't it? It's always fun to win stuff. Um, okay, so yes, yeah, so next Facebook Live, your name will go in the drawing to win the Scripty 3D embossing folder. You guys, I don't know if you remember this card. You can kind of see the embossing if I get super close. That really pretty kind of cursive writing on there. That is an example of um, using the Scripty 3D embossing folder. I know we made this card a few weeks ago when we used that Tasteful Texture stamp set. Such pretty colors on there, right? So, okay, your name will go on the drawing. 
Make sure you use the host code. It's always at gatheringinspiration.com. I'll give it to you in just a little bit too. Um, just put at least a $30 order in and your name goes in the drawing to win the Scripty 3D embossing folder. And then if you bump your order up to $50, you always get a free embellishment from me. Plus you always get the projects that I demonstrate on Facebook Live, okay? Um, all right, so one more quick thing I wanna remind you guys about the bird ballad class to go. Today is the last day. So I'm gonna do you a quick little peek one more time. So you get two of each of these beautiful, gorgeous cards. You also get a full bolt of Diana. Hello, how are you? Good morning. Um, you get a full bolt of that very vanilla lace trim, the um, bird ballad trinkets, and then a package of pearls because we used lots of pearls on these cards too. So you can see that beautiful ribbon right there. Um, and then the trinkets there too. So yes, make sure if you're interested in that class to go, today's the last day to RSVP for that. The link is on my blog and on our Facebook page um, for both of those uh, for that class to go too. So, all right, Mr. James just walked in. He's gonna do the walkthrough <laughs> on the house. So you might see him. You come on through, you're fine. He was like, he didn't want to be on the Facebook Live. So yeah, he's just going to do a quick wave. So he's like the savior right now to um, make sure that everything's all right in this house again, because I'm ready to live back in the house for sure. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions on that bird ballad class to go. Um, we'll get that sent out. I think it's um, the September 4th might be the the shipping day, and I'm gonna to try to get them out sooner than that because I wanna get them out to everybody as quickly as possible. But I'll order for all the product today for those class to go and then get everything put together for you. So if you have any questions or you're interested, let me know, okay? Um, so the other thing I wanted to remind you guys about um, holiday catalog stuff. It's like, we I've been playing with it just a little bit. It's so hard this time of year to get into like, you know, using holiday catalog stuff, but I need to because you guys are probably all really interested in seeing what's in that holiday catalog, right? So I'm not gonna actually show projects today, um, but I did put together a holiday catalog designer series paper share. So if you're interested, I have a few of the packages of paper and I'm just gonna show you those real quick. Um, I'll show you what I have. I don't have everything, um, but the basic idea is there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different packages of the pretty two-sided designer series paper in the holiday catalog. So um, you're gonna get a quarter of a pack of each of the designer series papers in the holiday catalog. It's $35. Um, to get basically a sample of everything in the catalog and then you can decide what you want more of, right? Um, if you need it shipped to you, I'm gonna send them through priority mail so it's an additional $8 shipping. Um, I'm still working on the links and getting it up on my blog, so just give me a little bit. I'm gonna try to get that done over the weekend. Um, but if you would like, just email me if you want the link. Um, I'm gonna do it through PayPal, so it'll be really simple to get um, those orders in. Um, and what else do you guys need to know? RSVP for that paper share is due by Wednesday, September 18th, okay? Um, so let me show you. I have a few, like I said, I have a few packages, and I may have shown this way back when we first got back um, from the trip, but I thought, okay, I wanna show you guys again. So hey, Nikki, how are you doing? I'm glad you could find me. I know I was a little bit late getting started. Okay, so these are, what is this one called? The Toile Tidings Designer Series Paper. So on one side, it's kind of a garden green. Let me get these fanned out. If I, if I would have been thinking, I would have had these ready to go earlier, but. Sometimes that's how that goes. Okay, Sandy, how are you doing? Okay, so this is the Twal Christmas. Can you guys see all the pretty? I think, um, I don't know if I like the red or the green better. Let's see if I can go this way here too, okay? Get these all so I can show you guys. I'm not doing a very good job, am I? My hands aren't big enough. We're gonna do this. Okay, so there's one side, and then actually it's kind of, I think it's real red, either real red or cherry cobbler on the other side. So, but same pattern, right? Garden green, real red. Isn't this pretty? It looks very kind of vintage, I think. The little winter scenes there. And then we've got some pretty stripes. I love those. Those are good, like even for masculine projects too, if you need something like that. Love the toile, right? And what is this one? Some nature 
Looks like some bears and some deer and maybe fox and trees. Okay, so you would get a quarter of that package of designer series paper. Then let's see, this one is beautiful. This one is called the Come Together designer series paper. Um, let's see, let's get this one open. So this is part of kind of the fall collection in the holiday catalog. And we're just gonna pull these out. I'm gonna just show you fronts and backs because I want you guys to see these. Okay, so pretty pumpkins in kind of a pale, I'm gonna guess um, maybe, let's see if I can look at the colors. I don't have my glasses right here. So am I gonna be able to read this? The coordinating colors are Cajun Craze, Early Espresso, Mary Merlot, Mint Macaron, Pear Pizzazz, Pretty Peacock, and Whisper White. Okay, so I would have thought that there's a little pool party in there too but I'm not seeing any light blue. Maybe they're calling that mint macaron. So that one looks like the pretty peacock there. Okay, ooh, and look at these are beautiful. I don't know if you're gonna get the full effect, but that, um, so this must, I read those so fast I didn't even let them sink in. Um, isn't that funny? Cause I'm not seeing a purple. Cajun craze, I don't know, it kind of looks like rich razzleberry maybe. You know, they don't, can't always give you all of the colors and then just kind of a cool polka dot pattern there. Ooh, this one's really cool too, this kind of wood grain. Oh, I guess I better open these and start checking them out, right? <laughs> and then what is that one? Here I am trying to show you guys. Kind of looks like, what does it look like? I don't know, kind of wreath, wreath kind of a look, floral. This one's very pretty too. More Cajun Craze is a color we haven't used a lot of. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure. Maybe there's maybe it's early espresso. It looks kind of purpley to me. That one is totally upside down. So we'll go that way. More pretty pumpkins. Oh, I like that one a lot too. Here, this is pretty peacock. Love that one there. And then the plaid. You always have to have a plaid for fall, right? Ooh, I like that one a lot. And then look at this one. More pretty peacock and kind of just a nice subtle stripe on that one too. So, okay, again, you would get a quarter of a pack of, that's called Come Together Designer Series Paper. Okay, then these are really cool. These are the Mercury Glass Designer Acetate, okay? And does it tell me, I think you get four sheets. So you're gonna get two of each of these guys. So there's this one. You can kind of see through it there too. Isn't that cool? It's catching the um, reflection, but it's really, it does kind of, it's like a glass look because you can kind of see through it there too. And then this one is a little bit more of like a crackle kind of a look. So you'd basically get a quarter, a quarter of that. So one half of each of those sheets is what you get. And then the wrapped in plaid. Okay, the wrapped in plaid designer series paper. This is a little, six by six designer series paper pack and we were checking this out the other night at our meeting and this is all beautiful because can you see it's got those kind of gold stripes or accents on one side i think i loved every single one of the plaids in here and then those cute little stockings so look some more every one of them was like oh that one's cool and then then the next one was too um, let's see, we've got some little teeny tiny reindeer. Did I do it the right way? Yep, reindeer on that side, and then more of the plaid, kind of a traditional red and green there too. Are you all set? All right, thank you so much, You're James. So welcome, I appreciate it. Calm, okay? okay, sounds good. Have a good weekend. You too. All right, yes, we're almost through to the bass. <laughs> all right, then we have some polka dots and some more um, plaid, love that gold, right, isn't it? Oh, and then the other thing, this was a cool find too, we did not, hey Wendy, how are you? Wendy will remember this from our meeting. Um, let me get that in there. So these Christmas trees, there is a Christmas tree punch, and Julie, who might still be watching, was asking, does the punch fit, and does it punch out these trees? And it actually does. It leaves a little bit of a white edge. That's so crazy how that light keeps moving on me. Um, 
but it does but it's really pretty because it leaves just a little it's almost like um, maybe there's like a little bit of uh, snow on the trees or something. So it's very, very cool. Um, I was really excited because at first I was like, no, that tree is way too small. The punch looks bigger and it is, but it, it really fit like the whole shape. It fits perfectly. So just so you know that too, the punch, the Christmas tree punch, whatever it's called, will work um, on that paper. And then more plaid. Look at all these beautiful plaids. Ooh, I love this one. That kind of diagonal pattern, right? Oops, Christmas trees, but they're upside down, right? Okay, and then those, what did we figure out? They're pine cones, I think. We were trying to figure out what they were the other day, but I love, look at, there's so many. Like, I'm not even done. I have like three or four more to go. Some more plaid, more stripes. This, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have so much fun with this paper. Every paper, it's so funny though how that happens, right? We got more there, and then just a real pretty kind of a simple, can you guys see that one? The lighting is, it's getting weird on me. Yes, perfect plaids. You are right, Miss Michelle. It is gorgeous. And then look at this one's nice too, kind of a white and red with a little gold accent. And then just cute little polka dots. One more, last one, the stripes, red and green stripes, and then some more of the plaid. So beautiful. So you would get one of each of those sheets of designer series paper and the holiday catalog paper share, okay? So again, it's $35, $8 for shipping. RSVPs are due by September 18. I will ha I'll be emailing about it, I'll post on Facebook. Um, I'll have it on my blog too. Um, but if you're just ready to get to it right now, just send me a message, just email me and I'll send you the link because uh, that's super easy for me to get that set up. Okay, I just haven't had a chance to do it yet. To be super honest, the bats, what's happening is, um, I work all day and I have to go to work too, so I can't always be at home, but I, I'm here at my house as long as I possibly can be, but then by about 8.30, I kind of start to freak myself out because it gets to be dusk and I'm like waiting for like bats to be swooping over my head, so I have to leave. So I've not been able to get quite as much work done because I usually work a lot between like 8.30 and midnight is when I get a lot of stuff done and I haven't been able to do that for a couple of weeks. So. Oh, I'm ready to get my house back. But yeah, so James, he just put everything up um, on the ridge, the ridge roof, roof ridge, I don't know, whatever it's called. So basically the bats are gonna be able to get out because he left a couple of little holes for them to leave, but then they won't be able to get back in. <laughs> I'm not gonna be here, but he said it's kind of disconcerting because they don't realize they can't get back in and they like fly in to where they normally would and they hit the house. And he's like, you'll hear them hitting the house. <laughs> like, well, I will not be here to hear that, but I'm like, sorry, Bats, you'll have to find somewhere else to live now is what I have to say. So, okay, um, what else, what else? Okay, so I talked about the designer series paper share. Oh, quick reminder about the customer appreciation event. So it's a local event here um, on September 7th. It's Saturday, September 7th. Um, so we'll have one more Facebook Live. I'll be able to remind you guys one more time. Um, but it's at the Stamp Studio here in Alma from 12 and 2 till 4. And what I like to do is two different time slots because the studio is not that big. So I want to make it fun and comfortable for everybody. So I'm asking you to pick a time slot, either 12 to 2 or 2 to 4. And that way, you know, if I have a whole gob of people, we'll have half, the, half of the gob of people at the first time slot and the other half of the gob of people at the second time slot. So that way, you know, everybody can like move around and enjoy things a little bit better. So if you're available and would like to come, I would love to show my appreciation for you at the, I don't even know what annual, maybe seventh annual customer appreciation event. So again, Saturday, September 7th from 12 to four. So just send me a message and let me know which time slot you'd like to, um, to participate in. So, <laughs> oh, it is available right now, um, Nikki, the paper share is, I just haven't posted anything. I'm, I, I just kind of realized, hey, I got myself organized earlier this week and then um, I haven't had a chance to like actually post it online, but it's available right now. So if you let me know that you want to do the paper share, I can get your name on the list. Um, and quite honestly, what I'm really hoping to do is even just have people send me a PayPal payment through friends and family because that helps me avoid the fees. 
it's really hard you know this whole like small business thing there are always all these expenses and fees and you don't want to charge so much that no one wants to participate in things but that's one way that helps me is if people pay through PayPal through friends and family rather than I think it defaults to like goods and services and then it always charges you the fee but if you um, if you do it through friends and family, then it doesn't charge the fee. So, hey, Marianne, you're just here briefly. And Michelle, yes, you've been to the studio. <laughs> so inspirational. That's cute. <laughs> I know I love using that kind of play on words. Although sometimes people are like, is she talking like with a speech impediment or something when she's saying instead of inspiration, inspiration? <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, Nikki, just let me know if you want to do the paper share. Um, if you do send it through friends and family, just put a little note in there that says you know this is for the designer series paper share that way I can keep myself organized it's, I wouldn't be likely to not remember that but just in case so yeah um, but and if as soon as I get so I need like groups of four people so I said the deadline was what did I say September 18th um, but if I get four people before that I'll order as soon as I get four people and get them start getting them shipped out so that way you don't have to wait although I guess I do have to technically wait until September 4th um, I think, I don't know, we'll see. Um, Cause I can order some on a demonstrator order. So if I can get them sooner, I will. If not, I'll order them on September 4th. It's still, sorry, I'm blabbering on and on and on. It's still earlier than the 18th anyway, right? So I'll get it out to you as soon as I can is basically what I'm saying. <laughs> um, so let's see, Nikki, um, what did I say? It's $35 plus $8 shipping. So it'd be 40 three dollars right 35 and 8 40 yeah so 43 dollars to friends and family paypal and you'll be all set and i'll order it and get it to you as soon as i can yeah okay let me know if you have any other questions okay um and marianne thank you for sharing facebook live i appreciate that i love like to try to reach new people it's just good for business right to find new people that will enjoy hanging out with us too all right nikki's in good job nikki thank you let me know if anybody else is in too i'd love to get there that paper it's all you know i only showed you a little sample of it because we'd be here all day too because you know how much i like to talk right um so yeah it's a good thing i only had a few packages of it right um okay so customer appreciation oh and then just don't forget um this is the last week to participate in the super summer giveaway i have got lots of awesome prizes ordered i cannot wait we're going to be drawing for the super summer giveaway um at our september 6 facebook live so our next facebook live i'll be doing the drawing for that as well okay um so yeah lots of awesome prizes one of the main ways if you're long distance is whatever um, project that I demonstrate today if you either use the stamp set that I use or you use the same layout that I used on the card make sure you use that hashtag super summer giveaway when you post your project and then what I'm gonna do I was like all excited and I wanted to start putting names in the drawing and then I thought oh, probably ought to just wait until the very end of the summer and then I'm gonna go back through and you can do a search anybody that used that hashtag super summer giveaway you are gonna get what did I say two entries into the super summer giveaway drawing for the post that you did. You also get entries into the drawing if you're local and you come to events. Um, actually, for every $50 you spend, you get two entries, so you can do that online too. So I'm gonna go back through all the online orders from June 1 to August 31. You're gonna get two entries in the drawing for that. And that's in addition to all the regular stuff that, you're, um, that you get entered into winning on the regular Facebook Lives. Um, let's see what else. If you come to class and you bring a new guest to class, you get two entries if you join a club. So for example, Simple Beautiful Card Club, Scrapbook Club, Paper Pumpkin is considered a club, In Color Club, I can still get you into that, or the Class To Go Club. Um, if you join any of those, you get three entries into the Super Summer Giveaway Drawing. Um, and then if you bought the Starter Kit, so anybody who bought the Starter Kit is gonna get five entries into the drawing. And then last way, if you held a private party or class, um, you got five entries into the drawing, okay? So lots of awesome ways. And like I said, I'm gonna have some fun, awesome prizes to give away, and we'll do that on Facebook Live uh, next Friday, September 6th. I think I've figured it out, right? Okay, so I think we are ready. Let's see, I'm just looking around trying to make sure, but yeah, I think we are ready to move the camera. All right, let me do a quick double check. Yep, okay, yeah. So we're gonna turn the camera down so that we can do our demonstrations, okay? So 
Yay, Diana says. Yes, you get your five entries in this Diana, our latest inspired stamper. Okay, hold on one sec. Let's get this situated. And where's my button? There we go. We've got it. All right, okay. Let's move, get things situated a little bit here. All right. Sorry, let's see, what are we gonna do? I'm trying to, hmm, we gotta go this way. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get this set there. Okay, so this is the host code that you're gonna wanna use, and this is good through, um, we're gonna keep this actually open <clears throat> through September 6th. Um, so the 9ZCA6ZT3, okay? So when you go to order online, make sure you use that host code. You are gonna get the projects that we're gonna demonstrate in just a minute, and your name goes in the drawing to win, where did I put that already? Yeah, the Scripty 3D embossing folder, okay? Um, and then you also get a free embellishment if you bump your order up to $50. Okay, so let's see. I'm trying to make sure. Am I centered? I think that looks good. Okay, so which one? I'm always like, which card do we want to do first? And actually, I need to get a quick sip of water. Mm. Whoops. And I did not make it to my mouth. <laughs> so I just splattered water. You guys can probably see that. Okay. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. It's a different water bottle than I normally <laughs> use. <laughs> okay, we're fine. We're fine, no big deal. All right, there we go. I didn't, I want some water though. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's do Sandra. We're gonna do this one because you had asked me how to do the band card. And this is how you do one. I found lots of cute ideas and I um, online, of course, on Pinterest. So I kind of used a couple of different ideas that I saw on there and came up with this project. And I love, what I actually really love about this is that, so this is the Perennial Essence Designer Series paper. You can see all the pretty patterns of Designer Series paper in there. But can you also see, because it's so kind of soft and washed, hey Angie, how are you doing? Um, I actually, I like, woo, I went super crazy. I did not use one of the coordinating colors. If you can see, these are all the colors that they say are in this Designer Series paper. But um, this one actually I thought worked really well. And that's what I think by these kind of soft washed colors. There are so many more coordinating colors than just um, these that Stampin' Up! lists. So for example, this one is the Purple Posy, one of our new in colors. And I just can't stop using. I love Purple Posy, right? And I paired it with, this is a Blackberry Bliss, just kind of a um, nice bold purple behind there too. And you are welcome, Miss Sandra. Uh, yeah, so let's see. Let's um, let's go ahead and make this little project here. Okay, so let's scoot this up out of the way a little bit. Um, yeah, you guys can see that, can't you, huh? <laughs> I can't believe I did that. That's how today is, right? Okay, so we have our purple posy cardstock, eight and a half by 11. We cut it in half at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? Then, like I said, we have our piece of Blackberry Bliss cardstock. And this one measures uh, three and three quarter by five inches, okay? Then our piece of designer series paper. Oh, look at the beautiful, oh. Isn't that just gorgeous? Love that pretty paper. So this one is just an eighth of an inch smaller. So it is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. So that's how you get just that teeny tiny little peak of Blackberry Bliss behind there, okay? And then I just have a couple of scrap pieces of Purple Posy cardstock to do our stamping and die cutting, okay? So we're gonna scoot these out of the way. Let's do we're going to do our stamping and die cutting right now. So we're going to stamp on this one. And I've been loving using my For the Love of Felt stamp set. I think I showed you guys this a few weeks ago because this is part of a kit that is in the very, very back of the catalog. A super cute like felt flower kit. And then this stamp set is the one they feature with it. You get it separately. So if you like the felt project kit, you buy that. 
and then you can buy this for the love of felt stamp set to work with it or if you just love the stamp set you can just get this stamp set too um so we are going to use the so very thankful stamp but i love the other sentiments here right you make an ordinary day special let's celebrate and then some really pretty flowers. And Lori, I think a couple weeks ago, or maybe last week, you were asking where that flower image, yeah, because I used this stamp set method, I'm thinking about it, um, I used it on Facebook Live. So that is the flower image that you were looking at, um, that Miss Lori Cresswell, you were asking about. Um, so if you hadn't found that yet, for the love of felt, uh, and actually, why am I opening this? Because I already have my stamp pulled out. So, okay, let's grab that. So we'll do our stamping here. So I've got some my Blackberry Bliss ink pad. And I'm going to just cheat and only open it up. Make sure it lays flat on the table, though. Tap, 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 tap to ink and press firmly and lift straight up. And then that is all good to go. Okay. Now, let's see. We need our Big Shot. <laughs> or, I mean, our die cutting machine. Right? Okay. Okay. So here, we'll put this right here. So we're gonna use the Detail Bands dies, such pretty dies. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one there and that's gonna work, I think, just barely here, there. Okay, so the beautiful, the Detailed Bands dies, they're called, and look at all of this. So we're actually gonna use this one right here with that um, little strip so that's the band part and it's just i mean that's all it does it just kind of creates a little strip or a band um, across your card right and then we've got this other one i think this was the one we used last time on the other card that we made and then we're going to actually use they've got some nice label pieces too there's that one or there's an even an oval and then they've got some pretty leaf images also so lots of good stuff and i haven't used this other this i'm just catching my this is just catching my eye that's another cool band can you see that one it looks like just kind of a nice actually you can probably see it better on there can't you just kind of a pretty scroll work oh I'm gonna be excited to try that one too okay but this is just a nice it kind of looks like it's gonna be a punch right but we're gonna put that one on there and then we're gonna use this big piece right here okay so we are gonna lay this one down and I do want it to be straight as straight as possible because it helps um you know if these edges are straight then it helps it line up nicely on your paper or on your card as well we're going to make sure that one looks good too okay so here we go we're going to crank this through okay and i'm actually i'm going to go back and forth a couple of times on the detailed band one so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back over one more time. I think that's probably good. Okay, so let's see what we've got. So this one's just going to pop right out, right? Love, isn't that cool? I love that label. So another great reason to get the detailed bands dies because they've got those simple, right? And they've got that oval too. So if you don't have the oval framelits, you could get one right in there. This one I know I used on a sentiment too. It's meant to go around a flower that's on the stamp set that coordinates with this, but it was actually just a cool little um, kind of a label thing to use there also. Okay, so now this one, let's see. What have we got? We're going to pull that off. Oh, all right. So when I did this earlier, all those things came out. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Just for kicks, I want to run that board back and forth a couple more times. Because last time, some of those things came out. So if we do this, all right, it will be fine. Isn't that funny? Okay, well, there, we can do that. You kind of tap that. And then I bet, actually, some of them will even come out. I have my Big Shot die brush. Let's grab that. Let's get all those. So yeah, some of these these detailed, oh boy. <laughs> that was not a good idea. All right, there we go. Let's get that out of the way. I have the dye brush though, so let's use this. Because I realized, I think I forgot my paper piercing tool, which is what I was gonna have help me pop, but I think that's gonna come out. Yep, there, you guys see that? Pretty awesome, right? So actually, I think everything is out of there now. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it is just beautiful. Okay, 
So we've got lots of little pieces. So just grab a little trash bin and you can just slide those all right into the trash bin when you're done. Okay, scoot that band die out of the way. And are we ready? I think we are ready to put things together. Adhesive is what I need now. Okay. So we're just gonna put some adhesive on the back of our designer series paper. Are we in view? I feel like I moved things around a little bit. Okay, <laughs> thank you. I think it is beautiful too, Miss Sandra. Beautiful, beautiful set of dies. Okay, and then, and I wanna add a good amount of adhesive now on this one because I've got two layers of cardstock on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you just got the bands too, Nikki. That is awesome. Yeah, I think you're going to have a lot of fun playing with these. They are beautiful. Okay, I know I did bring it, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Uh, actually, you know what? I was thinking, oh, I needed this, but I, I actually did not put any adhesive on the detailed part. I put it all on this piece and then on the bands. I guess it's still good to use this little silicone craft sheet because that way when I run off the edge, it doesn't stick. Love that little work surface there, right? Okay, so this one, I want to, I was kind of second guessing myself because you want to have kind of top to bottom um, about the same amount of, you know, pretty paper showing. And I like that that kind of lifts up off of there. It kind of is curling up just a little bit there. So it's kind of raised up a little bit off of the designer series paper. And then we are gonna add a couple of dimensionals on the back of this one. And we're gonna pop this so very thankful, right? And we're just gonna make sure isn't that funny? Like it doesn't look even to me. Okay, being anal. It's that kind of a day apparently, right? Rosemary, hello, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good Friday. Okay, and then we're gonna use, this is not the package that I'm gonna send out to Miss Linda. This is a, a new package, because we actually used a bunch of these at class on another project and I was out of that color. So this is what I was saying was when you look at this card and then all of these pretty rhinestones, I feel like there are a bunch of different colors that could work really well on this card. I actually chose this really pretty, I'm, I'm going to call it pretty peacock. Um, can you see? It's a, all of a sudden the sun kind of went behind a cloud, so it's a little bit dark in here. I have my lights on, but they're not giving lots and lots of light. But that's what I liked using these little, the pretty peacock ones. So we're gonna just put a couple of these things and I kind of put it close to the edge and then another one fairly close to that, okay? And we're gonna do one more right here and one more right. Let's see, can we get it? Those look even enough. Scoot that one up just a touch. There we go. Okay, so had to have a little bling on there, of course, right? And then I love, this is the Mint Macaron. So you can see again, it's just kind of picking up some of the different hues in that designer series paper. But I thought just a nice, pretty soft colored ribbon. So we're gonna make our bow get the little tails about the size that we want them. <laughs> now you gotta get the bundle, huh, Sandra? It happens like that, doesn't it? It definitely does. Yeah, and the stamp set, I, um, <laughs> you're late to the party, Rosemary. Never late, never. You can always catch up later. I know you need your sleep, right? You gotta make sure you get sleep, kiddo. Okay, so we're gonna put that right on there. And there we go. So there is our first project. It is, thank you, Sandra, I'm glad you enjoyed that. And Diana, yes, thank you so much. So very thankful. Yes, there are lots of reasons why we could send a card like that, right? So yeah, and if you, you can just kind of see the glittery, I don't know, the light's not great today, but beautiful rhinestones too, in such pretty, pretty colors. 
So, okay. All right, one project set for you all. Now, let me scoot things out of the way a little bit. And I'm gonna show you guys the other project we're gonna make today on Facebook Live. Okay, why is it that not sliding? Okay. All right, so, okay, what do I, I'm actually gonna show you guys. These are, so product of the week, right? Sorry, <laughs> my brain is just going crazy. Um, called the Mosaic Mood Designer Series Paper. Oh, Sandra, the ribbon, the ribbon please, she's saying. Okay, that is, it's the Mint, Mint Macaron, and it's item code 149480. So it's the Mint Macaron, um, textile ribbon it's called okay oh michelle i'm glad you like that card thank you very much and thank you julie <laughs> yes it is so pretty so yeah this is beautiful and you can see how easy it was to tie that ribbon to just a really nice ribbon to work with and that reminds me too so item codes for everything that we use on these projects will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com it'll be later this afternoon um, i'll get that blog post up with the pictures of the projects that we made and then below that are all of the dimensions and item codes for everything that you need in case you're like ooh, you want that ribbon right Okay, so what I was saying before, the product of the week, these are cards that we made, actually, I'll show you just kind of one at a time, um, at our group meeting this week, our Inspired Stampers group meeting. So if you're a part of that group and you were on that Facebook Live, these are probably going to look a little bit familiar. But these were the make and takes that we made at our meeting the other night. And they basically just featured the Mosaic Mood Designer Series paper. And then here's some of that um, Mint Macaron textile ribbon again. And we were featuring thank you cards because I think it's very important to make sure to say thank you to everyone that um, helps support your business, right? Um, and then this is more of the beautiful Mosaic Mood Designer Series paper. We've got the So Very Thankful, right? That sentiment probably looks a little bit familiar with some of the um, terracotta tile ribbon and a pretty little bow. And then this one is beautiful too, right? With more of that paper. Friends are the flowers in the garden of life. Thank you. And more of that mint macaron ribbon and then one more and i love this ribbon so this is the pretty peacock old olive kind of reversible ribbon you can see i would say that's more old olive and that's more pretty peacock if you see it in the right light right but i, I love that it just kind of all works together too with more of the beautiful mosaic mood designer series paper so you can see just that one big piece of paper a pretty ribbon and a sentiment all you need it doesn't have to be crazy because this there's so much detail on that paper already right so yeah those were great cards and like i said a great way to say thank you to your customers or your friends and family um you know anyone um that you want to say thank you to right so quick simple easy cards that you can make with that product of the week okay so you guys i have to show you this card I, I cased it straight away from Pinterest because I do that sometimes because I loved, like, can you see? This is basically all of the designer series paper. And all we did was use our paper snips to cut out the little butterfly and the roses and the leaves. And of course, you had to find one leaf with a little bumblebee on it. And then I'll show you, we're going to make um, the heartfelt sympathy is going to be our sentiment on our card. Okay, so let me show you, um, what do I have here? I have my notes about, oh, I know why. Okay, I was like, why do I have notes about page numbers? But now I remember <laughs> what those are for. Okay, I'll show you those in a sec. Um, what I want to show you is, well, actually I cut them out already because I knew you guys were not gonna wanna sit and watch me cut. But you can see I have a couple of roses, I have a bunch of leaves with that, um, cute little bumblebee, right? It's always it's always cuter like on paper than in real life, right? So we have six leaves, uh, five leaves actually, the little um, butterfly and then the roses, okay? So I just use my paper snips, snip those all out. I'm gonna scoot those over here for right now. And they all came off of, <laughs> so your paper might kind of look something like this when you get done playing, because you can see you just kind of cut right around i used when i used my snips i kind of tried to stay really close to that like very vanilla edge 
around of each of these things. So you could, there's a pretty flower, a butterfly. You can cut some of those leaves out and kind of layer them in. There's the other one with a little bumblebee on it, right? So just beautiful. And what you can't tell if you haven't used this paper yet is it actually feels like a mosaic tile, like it's kind of bumpy or ridgy like that too. So super beautiful, pretty, pretty, pretty paper. And I'll show you guys, these were all the different patterns. So this is one, I, I love this, like I could see having this tile on something in my house, quite honestly. And then just a real pretty soft, I don't know, little yellow stars. This is the paper that we used. And it was fun because her card, can you see? I mean, it's literally this paper cut up and put on the card. So super simple, easy way, you know, if you don't wanna, um, I don't even have the stamp set that coordinates with this suite yet. Um, I keep thinking I'm gonna get it and then cards like that show up and I'm like, oh, I don't even need that stamp set, do I? But there's more of that pretty mosaic love. Isn't that gorgeous? And then these birds, seen a lot of the hummingbirds, right? Where people have snipped these things out too. So these are beautiful. I mean, you don't like, why would you ever try to stamp something like that? Because look at how beautiful that is with all that detail, right? Okay, and then the back side is another kind of mosaic pattern there too. Some fun little flowers and ooh, more hummingbirds. So this one does not have the mosaic, but it's still very pretty. Lots of, it doesn't have the texture, I guess. It's still got the look of like a mosaic tile. Um, and then this one's very pretty too, isn't it? It's like, ooh, like a jungle, right? And then more pretty, oh, more, this is, oh, I love this one too, the yellow roses, right? So just a beautiful pack of paper. I hope you guys have been enjoying that product of the week this week on our Facebook group. Um, oh, I should tell you too, I cased this card from a gal named Wendy Lee, so L-E-E, -E, and her blog is called Creative Lee, like L-E-E, -E, so creative, L-E-E, -E, yours.com. So super cute project. I'm sure she has lots of other great ideas on her blog as well. So, okay, let me get a couple more things out and... I will show you, actually, why don't I do that right now? Because I've got, it's on my brain here. Okay, so we're gonna go to page 47 in the annual catalog. And here we go. Oh, yes, okay, so this is not a new stamp set, but it is one that I think is a great one to have in your stamp set repertoire because of all of the different sentiments that you can create with the stamp set. So the Well Said stamp set, it has 51 different cling stamps in it. You can see, I'm not gonna read them all, but an amazing array, probably every single possible occasion um, that you can create in terms of stamping. So that's where I got the heartfelt from, was from the Well Said stamp set. And then it coordinates with, on page 197, this is the, in very small print, you can see the well-written framelits. I'm gonna scoot over here so I can see a little bit better too. So we've got happy, you, groom, friend, an and sign, thanks, welcome, love, bride, hooray, miss, an exclamation point, uh, birthday, baby, wishes, and the one we used, sympathy. So just a great, you can see how many dies. We get 24 different dies. So between that stamp set and the dies, you pretty much have every single um, occasion or sentiment covered. Um, <laughs> like I said, between the stamp set and the dies. So awesome, very, very versatile. Uh, okay, so why don't we do, let's do our stamping. We're gonna do the heartfelt stamp. I've got that all ready to go. We're gonna use some, uh, what is this, soft suede ink. So let's see, it doesn't really matter if it's upside down. I like to try to have it going the right way if I can. So there's our heartfelt, that's all we're gonna do there. And then we need to die cut the word sympathy out of another piece of soft suede cardstock. So let's do that die cutting and I'll show you. We are using for the heartfelt word, Oops, that looks like it maybe should go like that. So if you ever notice that too, I'll mention that. 
you probably could not even see it, but this for me looked like it was bowing, kind of cupping like, like that, where it's kind of popping up so this middle is up a little bit high. Um, I, don't, I don't like that. I think it actually works better if it's more like a boat, you know, where the bottom is kind of down um, against the magnetic platform a little bit more. So I tend to try to never um, flip these. I like to have my bottom one super duper flat and if I don't flip them a lot it usually will stay that way. Every once in a while it bows a little bit so I always want to make sure it's bowing up instead of kind of like a mountain. You want it more like a boat than a mountain <laughs> if that makes sense on the bottom one okay because that'll help keep your framelits in place and we need that with these are the rectangle stitched dies and we're actually going to use this longest one right here and then I'm just going to snip off the one side of it and maybe you didn't even notice at first it was maybe bothering me a little bit because it's a little bit too long I'll show you what I mean so I'm going to do something like that on there so can you see it's got all the stitching and it doesn't have it right there you could probably do some kind of little dashes with a marker I tried it and I didn't like how it looked, but I didn't try that hard. So you might be able to find, I was trying to use a soft suede marker and it was too dark. But honestly, I think you really don't even notice that the dashes aren't on that side because there's so much other detail on the card, okay? So we're gonna leave that one there. And then we've got our soft suede cardstock with our well-written dies. And I've got the sympathy die right here. So we're gonna just pop that guy out. Okay, we are gonna pop this one on here. Okay, just make sure it's on the cardstock and make sure that little baby hasn't moved. And of course, as soon as I touched it, then it moved, right? Okay, I think that looks good. All right, so we're gonna crank these through. I'm gonna go back and forth a time or two. What is that saying? I think we're good. We're still on, aren't we? There was something popped up, like it made me wonder if my connection wasn't good. But I think we should be all right, right? Okay, so I'm gonna use my um, Big Shot die brush again to get that little guy out. And then this one is gonna pop out of here. There, heartfelt sympathy is what we're working with here. Okay, so we're gonna scoot um, the biggest die in the rectangle stitched framelits so this one right here we're going to use and it creates this awesome layer right on our cardstock so we've got very vanilla cardstock so we're just going to lay this doesn't even matter as long as it's on the paper it doesn't have to be straight right and here's the other one i set that aside and i was like where did i put this? so we're going to crank and this one makes a lot of noise because it's such a big die it has to really work hard <laughs> to get through there okay so let's see, now we can get our big shot out of the way, okay? All righty. Get a little bit of junk from my, oh, you know what? Maybe I should have gone back and forth. Let's see, is that gonna be all right? It's gonna make a not a great edge, isn't it? So I must have had it so on the edge. Mm -hmm. Okay, lesson learned there. All right, so we can, Kind of snip that little bit off there. There's that. This one doesn't want to rip. Let's see if I kind of pull on it. So I was trying to not go back and forth, and I guess maybe I should have. There, that's not too bad. With Because it was so on the edge there, I think I could have gone back and forth a time or two, and then that would have made that cut a little bit better for me. So yeah, like I said, lesson learned. Go back and forth a couple times to make sure that makes a good solid cut there for you. Okay. So adhesive is hiding where? Where, oh, where is the adhesive? Oh, right here in front of my face, of course. So the only thing you need to know is the dimension of your card base, okay? So soft suede cardstock measures eight and a half by 11. This time we cut it along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches, okay? And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. That's what makes this tall card like that, okay? All right, so we can go ahead and add our adhesive. Did you guys see? So here is that layer. You can see a little bit better maybe on there, right? So I love, because it makes just a perfect layer uh, to go on a card front, right? Make sure you have 
There's one side that doesn't look quite as stitched, so make sure you're putting adhesive on that piece. Okay, and we're gonna add this little baby right on there. Okay, now I just put a bunch of dimensionals behind these guys, and you can see that pretty beautiful kind of mosaic paper on the back of our pretty flowers and things. Okay, so let's see this one, this one, I'm gonna use some babies. We're gonna, oops, not babies, mini. These are the little mini dimensionals. We're gonna put one on there, and then I wanna put one right in the middle of that guy, okay? So now we wanna just start building our card, so. I am, and I kind of, after I put this one together, I thought it was down a little bit too low on the card base. So I am gonna try to scoot this one up a little bit higher. So maybe if I put that one right about there, okay. Then I'm gonna add my other flower. Peel on the dimensionals off of these guys. We're gonna put that maybe right about there okay now i gotta look at my i know i can put my this is my little um butterfly right i'm struggling what the heck is this it's a butterfly and i want his wings to kind of be up and flapping okay then from there let's see i have to find i know i want that little guy which way do i want it i'm going to put him right there and then I'm gonna layer a couple of smaller, I wanna be able to see that little bumblebee guy, right? And then we're gonna put a couple of these little leaves. So maybe we'll put that one right there. And you can see how it all just kind of layers together so nicely. You just kinda of add them in around there. Well, hey, Abby, how are you doing? All right, I'm gonna peel both of those little babies off. And maybe we're gonna put that one right there and that one right there. And then what I like to do after they're kind of adhered, I'm gonna just kind of curl them up a little bit, just like my little butterflies flying through the air, right? Now, I'm gonna take my snips and I'm just gonna snip off. I want it to be about even there. That looks good, okay? I'm gonna grab those little mini dimensionals again. I'm gonna put a couple of those on the back. And then, ooh, where's my, oh, I'm like, where did my sympathy go? I put it on my little pad here so I can use my dye brush. There, and look at that. Okay, can you guys see? That came out perfectly. Actually, maybe you can see a little bit better right on there, right? Sympathy, yeah, love that dye brush works so very well. Okay, now what I want to do, I'm gonna add some adhesive, and I love to, again, use this little silicone craft sheet because then it doesn't get adhesive all over my work paper. And I didn't put it on the ends because I want it to be able to kind of float off the edges of the flowers a little bit, okay? Oops, that doesn't need to be upside down, but that one did when I was putting adhesive on. So I am going to just kind of run that right along there, okay? I'm gonna press down, make sure that's all good. And then I am gonna add my heartfelt. So heartfelt sympathy. I'm gonna put that, actually I wanna scoot over just a little bit so it's not competing with the little T and the H there, okay? Then last step is to add a couple. These are my gingham gala sequins. So I'm just gonna add a couple of these little babies because you always I don't know there's something about the texture I always have to with I didn't put ribbon on this one but a lot of times that provides a lot of texture for me and then even just a little bit of bling some kind of an embellishment adds um, just a little bit more so it's not completely flat with um, just the, the cardstock itself I guess so okay so there is our second project so you can see Thank you very much, Susie, that um, Mosaic Mood Designer Series paper, how easy it is to create beautiful cards just with the Designer Series paper, okay? Uh, with that, this was the well said. You can see, look at how huge the well said stamp set is. Amazing, 51 stamps in the set. 
Okay, so quick recap. You guys know the drill, right? But I would love to send you both of these projects. And like I said, you guys can help me cover that big fat check that I just had to write to James the Bat Guy. <laughs> Yikes, but I'm really excited that, okay, by the time we're on Facebook Live, two weeks from now, I will be assured that there are no more bats in this house. <laughs> it takes a little while. They said it could take up to a week to make sure they all leave and then they can't get back in. So <laughs> anyway, pray for me for a little while longer that we don't have any more incidents with these crazy bats. But anyway, in the meantime, if you are so inclined to put an order in, if you order at least $30, you are gonna get both of these projects sent to you. Make sure to use the host code, the 9ZCA, 6ZT3. You also get your name in the drawing to win the Scripty 3D embossing folder as shown on that card right there. Bump your order up to $50 and you also get that free embellishment. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, like I said earlier, we won't have Facebook Live next Friday because it's Lily's 15th birthday and we've got some fun stuff planned for her birthday. And then we'll be back. So next Facebook, Facebook Live will be on Friday, September 6th. And the holiday catalog will be live too. Goes live on September 4th. So watch for that. You can wait and put an order in. Use this host code on September 4th and you will get these projects and then your name in the drawing and um, a free embellishment too if you bump it up to $50. So thank you guys. I love, thank you so much for joining me today. I had such a great time um, sharing with everybody. And um, yeah, let's see, have a good rest of August, good Labor Day weekend, and we'll see you in two weeks from today. And I promise we will be here right at 11.30 a.m. Kids will be, yeah, kids will be in school, so there'll be no interruptions. <laughs> All right, okay, bye everybody. Have a good couple weeks, we'll see you soon. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I appreciate your patience too, because I know I was a little bit late getting on. So bye guys, have a good weekend, thank you.